Okay, we're taking a quick look here. This is the $2,800 Nikkor 7200-28. This is the newest Tamron right here. It's actually about a half inch shorter. And uh, this is the last generation Tamron 7200-2.8. Um, both of these are made in Japan. This one is made in China. But that's all right. Even the last later versions of these were made in China. So let's do a weight on these three lenses. The old version of the Tamron, 3.3 pounds, 4.8 ounces. Okay, and the uh, new Tamron, it's a wee bit heavier even, 3.3 pounds, 5.2 ounces. And the insanely expensive Nikkor 70 to 200, 2.8 is 3 pounds, 4.2. Two ounces. Um, you notice the uh, tripod color. Actually, the tripod color on uh, the newest one is better than the other two. Um, this Nikkor one actually has a plastic locking knot, and if you actually unscrew it slightly, the release button's right here. If you actually grab the lens, you can actually slide it up backwards. That's actually a minor design flaw on the Nikkor. Of course, we do have four autofocus activation buttons. On the Nikkor 7200 2.8, but we're talking $2,800 here, $1,300 here. I don't know what the current price on this one is. Um, both of them are made in China. I love how the fact they stuck right underneath the tripod color. You can actually see it says, uh, this is it's kind of funny. They stuck designed in Japan in really big letters, but in really small letters they put uh, made in China. <laughs> It's like, let's make the letters uh, say uh, designed in Japan really big, but uh, the letters say made in China really small. Um, absolutely love the mount on this one. This is definitely uh, the best mount of the three. Also, they're all 77 millimeter front filters, so now I'm going to go do a bunch of extensive testing between the three. Lens hoods between the old and new one are no different. as the old one here on the left. There's a new one on the right. Same stuff. So it's actually heavier. The uh, new Tamron slightly heavier than uh, the old one. Just a wee bit heavier. Obviously this is a fluoride element. It is uh, more lightweight. I mean, I knew that, but it's also longer. It's a larger lens. However, I lined them up precisely. It is just a wee tiny hair, like about eight millimeters longer than the older version of the 7200. Uh, so, I'm going to do a bunch of testing, testing VR, focus breathing, yada, yada, yada. On I go.